Yo, yo, boys and girls, it's your boy Diverse here, back with another video for the YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a great week, and I hope you all had a great week. Hope you had a great month and a happy Easter to everyone. Make sure you enjoy it while it's around here. But it is Saturday. As I say every week now, Saturday is the day we look forward to. For one reason, it is footy day. Southend welcome probably one of the most attacking teams in this league today. They've been labelled as the most threatening attacking team all season long so far. They were started up the season right at the top of the table then had a few COVID injury COVID cases sorry in their squad forcing them to drop down the table bit by bit but a very strong side we've got up today in Carlisle United speaking of which let's get into this name Carlisle United they go by the nickname of the Blues but you know South End of the better Blues Bay the Blues Brunton Park is their home state which has a capacity of 17,940 absolutely massive stadium for this league top quality massive gaff gotta love it going into today's game we can see both teams fairly even today for the first time for South End of the World. Blues picked up that massive win last week against Harrogate as did Carlisle last week picking pick up a win both teams going into today with confidence Blues slightly edging the late the last three results but hey it's what happens on the day which is most important into the standings we can see we have added Grimsby there at the bottom compared to recent weeks as it is all hotting up down there only four points separate South End and safety be lovely to drive Colchester back into these bottom two but need the big points there as we see on the right there Carlisle up in 14th position similar to Harrogate last week mid table side very strong side but hey they're there for the taking day so we've got to take advantage going into the team news very similar team as always. We've gone to that 4-4-2 again, which is great to see the attacking options there. No John White today due to last week's injury. So Dimitri takes the captain's arm man for today. Partnered in centre back with Hobson and Cordner and Cliffy on the other side. Ashley Nathaniel George, Ferguson, Maka, Rekka Akin Fairchild, Akinola, Aqua. Simple team, piece of cake, very strong team. No Oli Inca, bit worrying, but hey, hopefully we can pick up the way and show we don't always need him to win these games. Come on, you blues, big game. Oh no, I can always give him away in the midfield. Carlo coming through here. Good defending McCormack and Dimitri there. Still Carlisle up wide with the number nine in that fluorescent lovely orange kit. Ball in from the number 17 low. Number 12 picks it up. Someone just clear the bloody ball. Stop hassling him. Just clear it. There we go. Reco picks up, thumps it away. Oh no, Carlo coming forward here. Number 10 in the fluorescent orange. He's done Dimitri. Low shot. It's gone in. No way. Oxley should have had that 100%. Jesus Christ, that is bad. Zang Zanala, I think it is. Can't see the back of his shirt there. But 1 0, Carlisle. Really? Oh, no, no, no. Too early to be conceding that sort of goal. Oh, for a brief, what happened there? Quick low shot by the number 10. It was in Oxley's gloves and it just slipped and went past and into the back of the net. Jesus Christ, it's one of those games. It's one of those games today. 1-0 Carlisle, 17 on the clock. Tasty situation for the Blues here. Free kick on the right-hand side. Whipped in by Tom Clifford. Corners there! Keeper got to it before him. Tom Clifford then, throwing to the Blues midway into the Carlisle half. He's trying to find support. No one's moving for him, to be honest. Okay, he's launched it long. Emil Aqua heads it into the box. Into Aqua. Aqua trying to do the centre He's been brought down, ref! Ref, yes, penalty, get in there, you ginger bastard ref, love you, penalty, blues, oh, two, is it two games back to back, we've had a penalty, no, it's not, but it's close enough, oh, tempting, do we stick Ashley to find your George on this, he got it against Scuffle, but I'm amazed, blues have a penalty as well, Akinola tried to skin the centre back, was brought down, and now it is a penalty to the blues, do you do Dimitri, do you do Ashley to find your George, I don't know, let's find out. It's Akinola to take it. A new guy. Number nine. Akinola. Where three whistles, but come on, Ak. Come on, Ak. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was so weak. What just happened? What? What just happened? Corner to the Blues. Tommy Clifford over it. Plays it short to Dimitri. Dimitri front post cleared out. Why do we do these short corners when they never bloody work? I haven't seen one successful one so far. If you have, leave a comment down below. But I have not seen one all season in a blue shirt. Why do we still do it? Last kick of the half there, probably. Corner to Blues. Dimitri over it. Whips into the ball. It's cleared straight out. Clifford with the ball. Referee blows for half time there. 1 0, Carlisle. Missed penalty. Set pieces everywhere for Blues. Not taking it. Half time review coming shortly. 
Half time then at Rootsall, Carlisle one nil up as we came into the forty five minute ending period. We're going to go straight into the talking point of that first half, the penalty. <sighs> just I've always lived by this theory. Just always smash it in. If you smash the ball down the middle or to the side of the keeper, and it's saved. You don't get much grief, to be honest. You're just like, okay, you tried to smash it in. Okay, we don't have to get on your back about it. You did try and lace it in the net. But when you do a side foot penalty in a team which is struggling to get goals and right at the bottom of the league, it's a bit concerning, I'm not going to lie. Why would you not give it to Ashley Nathaniel George? He has scored a penalty not even two weeks ago and he did it with such confidence and it's just boosted his morale ever since. Why didn't we give it to Jason Dimitri? He's been our penalty taker for like a long ass time at this club. And but no, we give it to Akinola. Why? I get a reason behind it might be to get his confidence up, to get his striking ability, get his shooting boots on fire again. But we need the goals. Like, just give it to a reliable person. I would have just personally said, hey Angie, get on it. Do what you did against Scumfort. Lace it in there. Beautiful stuff. But just oh. Uh, it's hard to watch when you just side foot a penalty and it's so easily saved. And when it was weak as well. But anyway, it's been a quite a fair half. Carlisle are living up to their expectations of being a really good attacking threat up in the Blues half. Blues have plenty of set-piece opportunities. Some better than others. Akinola, like after that penalty, even before the penalty, sorry, he's had a shock of her. Aqua apparently is doing really well. In fact, I agree with the radio comments. They're saying he's probably mad the match that first half. I give it to him, to be fair. His link-up play's been good. He's been a threat. He's been getting in the faces of the Carlisle centre-backs. You know what? He gets the man of the match for this first half. Sad to see McCormack gone off. He was a big help in that mid Midfield. Carl Taylor hasn't had much to say. It's already booked, to be fair. There's a big second half coming up for these boys out. If they want to play for this shirt, if they want this club to stay up, bloody hell, pull it out in the second half. Come on, you boys. Come on, you blues. Go on, Ash. He's done him. Go on. Cross it in. He's out on the wide here. Dimitri, ball in. High one this time for once. Reco, head down. Out too far for Canola and cleared. Out to Dimitri, though. What was that touch? Jesus Christ. Free kick, Blues, Clifford, ball in the box, head on three, Akinola scored! It's offside. It's offside, oh my god, he scored. And it's offside. <laughs> this, this game, watching, I swear Roots Hall is cursed. Corner to the Blues, Tom Clifford to whip it in, front post, header, oh, it nearly went in off the back of a Carl Armand there, but cleared out, Carl Taylor whips the ball back out wide to Tom Clifford, back to Carl Taylor, Taylor cross into the box, saw that Hobson, it's got out the back. Trifecta of subs for the Blues, I'm just going to double check, I'll get these right up on the screen here, so... Akinola, Dimitri and Ferguson all got off that. Coming on is Good Ship, Elvis Buono and Jacob Mellet. So it's pretty much a straight swap for position. Same formation, just swapping for fresh legs. I probably would have got more attacking me, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully something pops up and we get a chance here in these last 20 or so. Carla with a ball in the middle here, played out wide to the 17. He's gone past three players into the number nine. Number nine, plenty of space here. No one closing him, now closed down. Sean Hobson with the ball, running away here. Straight into Carla, players, are you kidding? Ball back out wide, 17, whips the ball in. Into the feet of the number nine in Oz. This is painful to watch. Into the number 20, 20 curls. It is two now. Just get out. Just, I give up now. This is just so painful. Oh, we take off Akinola for good ship. That's okay, but we keep hoofing it forward to Ricky Holmes, who's five foot, can't win a header. Oi, ay, ay, ay. This is just annoyingly painful to watch. Fuck's sake, all these players. Oxy's screaming at his defence. Defence just turn away and walk off. Fuck me. One of these weekends again. 2 0 Carlisle, by the way. Go on, Rico. Rico, get the ball in. Rico in. Ricky Holmes cleared out straight away. Oh, five minutes of added time just shown as well. Even more. Just end it. We're into the final 20 seconds of the game, man. Bloody hell, this has been so depressing to watch. That's the reason for the lack of content, really, in this second half. We deserve to be down and out at this stage, just using a five-foot player as a target man. Substitutes that are questionable. The, our whole team had a week off to prepare for this game. And it's just looked absolutely diabolical. That win from Harrogate, that fight, is completely gone here. Referee's just playing full-time. 2-0, Carlisle. Yikes. 
So then, full timer routes all, Carlisle to Southend, nil. Personally, before we get into any of the match, I blame it on the man bargain. I said two weeks ago, if we lose, I'm not bringing it back. And what happened? I brought it back today and we lost. That's, that's, I'm blaming it on that first off. Just That's the easy thing to blame on. But no, nah, the real reasons, I think, why we've lost today. First, I'm not going to go into too much detail as we did at half time, but that penalty set the tone for the rest of the game, really. The confidence was just smashed after that. If it wasn't already destroyed within the first half hour of that game, after that penalty, yeah, it was zilch, gone after that. The subs from Mark Mosley were questionable. It, there was no real attacking threat he brought on. It was just straight swaps. If you're 2-0 down, 1-0 down, you surely want to go attacking and get these goals right now. There's just little fight now. We're running out of matches. There is so little time to be picking up these points. It's scary now. And it looks so likely we are going to be facing the likes of Barnett, Solihull Moles, Eastley. Who else is down there? Oldershot, Wrexham, in fact, are down there next season, which is just so hard to see. I saw something on Twitter that said the last game I went to away was a League One game with South End. Now we're going to be going to a National League away game. It's just so destroying to see. And the fact that Mark Mo not Mark Moses, sorry, Ron Martin said, I don't know if the club's going to stay up. I don't know if the club's going to go down. Well, you bloody do now, Rod. You bloody do now. I've got to say, if you can't see now that we are pretty much facing and going down, you need to pull your act together, son. I'm sorry. Get some of these youth players who have been winning week in, week out for the last seven or so weeks. Get them on pro deals now. Get Matt Rush bloody starting, uh, starting at striker, for God's sake. He might actually score a goal, too. Fuck me. What a disappointing afternoon. That has ruined my Easter now. My Easter is ruined. But I hope... You've enjoyed the video, as painful as it has been to watch the game for you lot. But anyway, boys and girls, I'm going to wrap this up here, because I'm going to go drink myself into oblivion. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. My name's been Diversity. Peace.